If your computer is still running Windows 10, do this. Go to the Microsoft website where you can download the Windows installer. Um, I like just going down and doing this one where you can download the um, app to create the installation media. Once you got the ISO created, which is the disk image, um, you're going to get a file like this. Just double click on it to mount it. Mine will show this because it's running on the network. You'll notice this computer is already in Windows 11, but the same instructions will be uh, working on Windows 10. Um, just hold shift and right click anywhere on the empty space. And you're going to say open command window here. Then go ahead and type setup.exe forward slash product and then server. I hit enter. What this is going to do is going to launch the uh, setup the, for Windows installer, um, but it's going to be running as if it were a server by passing all the restrictions for Windows 11. Um, it will say server during the installation, but it will not install the Windows server version. It will install this, the version of Windows that you already have installed on your computer. But this is going to bypass all the restrictions and you'll be able to install Windows 11 on any computer that does not meet the hardware requirement, but is able to run Windows 11. After that, you're going to get go through the regular setup as you would normally would, um, and you'll get Windows 11 installed on uh, your computer. Um, if you have any questions or need help, uh, hit me down in the comments below.